Hey guys, as a celebration for the new channel, we are releasing something very special. The best moments from our close friends high episode, which we do every week for subscribers on TMGstudios.tv. Uh, anything goes on close friends, to be honest, and we're giving you a sneak peek into it today. And if you'd like to join close friends, you can sign up for the Broken Connor tier or the TMG Studios at tier at tmgstudios.tv. When you do sign up for Close Friends, you will also get added to the Instagram Close Friends story where we post early announcements, our favorite TikToks, etc. We hope you enjoy this exclusive look. <laughs> Kelsey and I had this conversation last week that a lot of the times music videos just don't make sense with the lyrics of the songs. Which is really hard because you want to think that like the music video is just the totally lyrics of the song come to life. Totally disagree. What? Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. That's crazy. That that. What are you that talking what, about? So, you want like soaring, flying. So soaring would be an eagle. Flying would be maybe a seagull. I'm saying that music videos don't do that. I think sometimes they do. You're saying they do? Yeah, I don't. Like You're them. saying that the soaring, like flying do. music video is the eagle? Yeah. Oh my gosh, Ryan, Ryan brought me a bagel. Thank you, Ryan. Everyone give it up for Ryan. <laughs> yes. Ryan brought broke a That's bagel. Too, sir. Thanks, Ryan. Oh, that cream I cheese is fresh. feeling a little starving. A little yeah. famished. See, this and is... The thing about close friends, you can eat on it. Here, I can spread that and I, you can hold the plate. Oh, I got it. Okay. Totally. Well, you have to hold your mic. Anyways, yeah, I think Celine Dion kind of got like a feeling in her gut that her husband had just blown up on his moped. Um, and then he just kind of shows back up in her hallway on his same moped. And I don't know if she can see him, but, um, she, I, I don't know. Maybe she's on acid even. She could be going crazy in that big house. How is she going to make it to all those rooms? I love being in a big house because they always have so many chairs, you know, and, and you know that nobody in those houses are sitting in all those chairs. <laughs> Why do you want nine nine random, and they don't even go together. You have a nook with like six chairs in it. I got to go. So every time I go to one of these houses, I sit in all the chairs because it's hard for me not to <laughs> assign personality traits to inanimate objects. That's kind of my thing. So I look at a chair and I'm like, damn, when's the last time you've been sat in? Can you guys pull up the Glee version? I think this, no, no, don't give me that look. I want, no, don't give me that. Don't give me that. Go in with an open mind. You've got to listen to this because I'm going to say something. Lee Michelle, better than Celine. Fuck you. In that instance. In, in this serious No. <laughs> in this instance. Oh my God. Like this. There's nothing like this. It's crazy to say it. That's the craziest thing ever to I'm say. I'm sorry. Can we watch her perform it? Just perform it just for the extra oomph. Of that, course. Thank Love you. Me. One second. <sighs> oh my God. You know what I think could be the. Do you have anything you want to talk about before we go into other <sighs> media? No. Are you feeling high? I don't know. <laughs> okay let the record show i took another i t finished my gummy before those chips sound good that's the cookie wrapper um no i don't have anything in, that i really want to say let me know when you swallow your bag on we can just kind of continue the podcast right all right um okay what I oh welcome to bonus everybody <laughs> shoes are off on my this is a shoes are off environment brooke kind of peer pressured me in the obviously in the main episode to take an edible and then i and then the second edible as well so things have moved in a direction that i don't feel totally in control of yeah. But you've got your bagel. I, I actually could not be happier. And we Watching got, Glee eating a bagel. We, we got plenty of pumpkin to go around as well if we want to mix in some veggies. Hopefully. We have, I've got this Jojo that I've had since we that started. That looks incredible. I'm really excited to kind of yeah, dig into this. That looks incredible. Um, it is hard to eat and talk at the right. same time. So that's, yeah. So I'll wait a second to dive into my second half. But I wanted to show you all of these videos that are my entire For You page on TikTok. Yeah. And this is the only thing that ever, like, whenever I'm like, something's my whole For You page, it's negative connotation. 
Like I'm not Maybe. excited about something being my whole for you page. I want, I want variety. Yeah. You know, I could not be happier that what I'm about to show you is the only Wait. thing that I have been exposed to. It's these, it's basically just like somebody putting text on the screen. Would you rather, where would you rather live? And it shows you like six houses, but they're the Connor, the vibes could not be more different of the houses. It's like, oh, no, I missed the most important part. In the text, it's like, it's a snowy day out or like, it's raining. Like, where would you rather be given the circumstances? Oh, hey, God. Let's get to that <laughs> in a second. Wait. Before we get into that, I can't oh. wait to play House Hunters with you on FYP. Wait, do you have links to the videos? Connor, yeah. Oh, okay, I can't wait to see them. But I, I also want to say that the close friends Instagram story that we talked about in the main episode, we are going to put a link in the bio of this description. So if you want to join that, you pop in your info and fill out the Google form and then we'll see you there, I guess. Would love That's all kind of I wanted to say just to help get more bonus content in the hands of the people that have us in their hands. I, well said. I could not have said that better. Ooh, oh, sorry. Was that a bad sound? That was just good. That okay. Was good. Okay. Are you ready for? Did I explain it already? Yes. Okay. You ready? It's house hunters. So basically, you have to look at the houses and it's look, house hunters with context. It's so fun. Okay. Would encourage you, of course, to be watching the visual version. Oh, you should. As this is a large visual piece. Yeah. Oh my god! Can you read that to us, Connor? Congrats! The, You're getting married. Okay. Oh, this is a fun one. Which wedding venue are you choosing? Okay. I'm seeing an Italian kind of seascape. Yes. And I'm seeing wow. a, a Wyoming-esque barn. I'm seeing, I don't know. And then something in a city and then something in a vineyard. Ooh. Another like barn. barn. One on the ocean, piers in Greece. This one's tough because I would probably say none of them. Yeah. Because they all feel so grand. Yeah. And I want to feel a little bit tinier. Like it feels like oh you want your wedding to feel yeah familiar. it almost feels like with this like the views getting married yeah like the, oh interesting like the okay. view is the centerpiece yeah. where it's it should be me you know but can we watch them again sorry the thing about these the best thing about these is you got to watch them over and over mm -hmm. you know the sound bath if I've ever heard one whoa that's crazy I like that one I, I guess think. that guy was gonna say one or two that's way too white that's overwhelming I don't know what I'm looking at I kind of like that one but. That one's bad. I think I'm going with... Like, what? The last one seemed claustrophobic. Oh, yeah. That's a good word. I think I'm going with the second one. Yeah, I think I would yeah. do. Just because I've been seeing so many people getting married in the mountains, like in a field with the mountains in the back, and it kind of feels like you're in the presence of God more so than a church. That makes you feel small in a good way, though. And whenever you feel ready to respond, take your time. And I want everybody while we listen here to breathe in. Take a deep breath. Do you believe in God? Take a deep breath. Hold it. And let it out. Um, oh, I brought these JoJo's because I wanted to dip them in peanut butter like they do on oh. Parent Trap. You don't believe in God? I do. You want to really do this? I don't, know, I, just... I don't want to have this conversation okay. while looking at that baby and that teddy bear. You don't like my shirt? It's just like, I can't believe they're here too. This is supposed <laughs> to... Because <laughs> I didn't realize that they were there this whole time. Well, okay. We don't have to talk about it. Okay. Do you want to know if I believe in God? Oh, yeah. I, I, I actually... I don't know. I this think is one of the conversations like space. I believe I in like a higher about. energy. But here's the thing. Whenever I'm like in an oppositional mood and I'm like no I don't believe in God then I'll like in my head be like I'm sorry <laughs> you know yeah. kind of like hoping that she'll hear me yeah but I don't so I guess I do like deep down if I have that response how was that tasting beyond the thing peanut butter is like the best food when you're high peanut butter pretzels incredible frozen Trader, Trader Joe's Trader Joe's milk chocolate peanut butter covered pretzels put in the fridge. Whoa. And when I say fridge, I mean freezer. Take them out of the freezer, eat them. The most is this one of the food, high food combinations that someone recommended? This is mine this from is college yours. that I thought I invented. And it straight up is just one of those Girl Scout cookies that already exists. Oh. 
it's just a it's just a Samosa? peanut butter dipped. I don't know. It's a peanut butter yeah, dipped Oreo. Oreo. Whoa! Could you dip me one? You betcha. Thank you. But like, and then let's let's. <laughs> and then I'm gonna rub it into high gear like Celine Dion's husband into that tree. Okay. Then wait. Then we can. We don't have to eat it right now. <laughs> that was the worst. I want to show you another one of those TikToks. It's like the house more so because the wedding one was bad. I shouldn't have sent that Let's one. Let's dive in. into that really. Okay. Thank and you I'll so much. It Thank you. you. Okay. POV, it's snowing outside. Where are you sleeping? In Florida? For some reason while it's raining? Ooh. Mm. Log cabin in the mansion or in the mountains. Log cabin in the mountains. A log cabin in the mountains? Or a, like a nice house in the mountains. Probably the log cabin in the mountains. This is exactly that thing that always happens to me. When I'm like, hey guys, I just watched the best thing in the world and I make people watch it. And then it's like, was I on crack? You know, that's the worst feeling in the world when you're like, I love this. And you show your friends and then you're like thinking in your head, wait, it's not funny. Because you're watching it through I their eyes. I had that happen. It was so painful. I can't even talk, talk about it on close friends. Really? Mm -hmm. That's kind of happening to me. Maybe these are just bad ones. Can we try one more? <laughs> if you really know your boyfriend, which house would he choose? I'll do it. Mm. House in the hills? House in Texas? House in Wyoming? Log cabin? Or a house in Miami? Or a house in Cabo? Cabin. Can we do it again? <laughs> I forgot. Yeah, I think I would do cabin too because I like rivers. I was picking for you. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, I forgot that that was what the description was. Um, nice. Yeah. No, I think I get the gist of the videos. They're fun and they're. No, it's you don't. They're relaxing. Just like imagine being cozied up in bed, like putting yourself in those places. Can we do one more? <laughs> that's like the house focus. How it's just links. I don't think. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yes. POV, you and your girlfriend are building a house. <laughs> Which living room would she choose? Wait, maybe not. This is the house. Like, oh, that's nice. Ooh. Jungle vibe. Ooh. Ugh, I don't know what that is. I don't know how to describe that. Ooh. Instagram ad vibe. Um, I don't know. Ooh, I don't like <laughs> Middle that one. Apartment building. Uh, I like the first I think one. The first one as well. Okay. How how fun. Had to, that was a blast. <laughs> Thanks for joining. Thanks for having me. Should we um oh my god, you're going to like have, did you talk did you see the Mario trailer? I saw like a I think there was a clip of it on SNL maybe. About, is Chris Pratt Chris in Pratt it? Is, is Yeah. And people just like losing their shit just like watching the trailer. Well, Mario at his core is an Italian plumber and his brother Luigi mm -hmm. Believe it or not, is also an Italian brother. Plumbing, wait, plumber. Plumbing runs in their bloodline. But what we need to focus on here, so first of all, why is a plumber saving a princess? It's it's awesome, but it's it's a stretch. You know, what's more of a stretch is they totally whitewashed Mario. Mario, which, and he's, what is, is it, are, he's a They're white. That's yeah. Too. Yeah. How do you but I know, what, I know what you're saying. But um, they like stripped his accent. And the whole thing about the game, because they said it'd be overwhelming for audiences if he had an accent told them. No, it wouldn't. I, I, I could follow. I, I've played, people play Nintendo. That was like the invention of video games. People have been listening to Mario go, it's me, Mario. Like, they've been listening to that for hours and hours and hours. You think they've gotten tired and now they're going to go see a movie and it's, hey, it's me, Mario. <laughs> like, no, they're, 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 they want the accent. Like frat, Mario, frat guy. Yeah. Good. Instead of, no. Can we watch the trailer? Fuck yeah. Yes, please. And then Jack Black is Bowser. And like I just don't think of Jack Black as an evil turtle. I think of him kind of as like a really nice brown bear. Or like a porcupine. Kung Fu Panda. Yeah, that's probably why I think bear. But you couldn't have Kung Fu Panda in, in in the Mario universe. I feel I feel the way about the Mario Super Mario Bros universe that I think a lot of people feel about. What's the super like superhero stuff? 
Marvel. Marvel. Yeah, I feel that, that I feel that way about this. Like, you really can't mess with it. And they really did a really a huge discredit to Italian people who <laughs> I've never the hill that I'm dying on. I guess today is like <laughs> Italian people. Italian people. They've given us so much. I had pizza last night at the baseball I'm, game. I'm California <laughs> Pizza Kitchen. I'm sure they got an Italian that kind of had to advise on that. Mushroom Kingdom, here we come. <laughs> really Mushroom high. Kingdom, here we come. Are you ordering like an uh, egg and cheese? Breakfast egg and cheese? What is it? Sausage egg and cheese? Sounds like he's from like Brooklyn. I guess that's Italian. I digress. <laughs> I just think that they really did a disservice. I'm feeling like scary. Like my gummies really hit me. That's okay. I'll keep talking. Okay. Thank you. Um, Like this for Nintendo. Congrats, Nintendo. They deserve it because Marvel's so bad. But there is another movie coming out called Megan. Did you hear about this one? Mm-mm. Well, this is a new horror movie. I think it's a horror movie, but it's uh, like hilarious. <clears throat> so let's let's just watch it and then I'll explain it to you. It's it's kind of Black Mirror esque. I don't know what it is, but with these trailers we've been watching, I feel like I've seen the whole movie. Brooke, you took the fu- <laughs> you took the words out of my mouth. You buried like, the lead again. I don't have to go see them. No, you understand exactly what happens. She protects her like the AI gets too smart. She teaches herself. She to kills everyone that kill gets everyone. in her way. He's like, yeah. Megan is voice. Oh yeah, by the penny penny nickel dime girl. That. By the way, the girl goes penny nickel dime penny penny. Uh uh-uh, uh, I haven't you seen can that. Do, do, is there a video for that? This girl on the left. Is it she's the voice of Megan? Pop? And you'll be like, oh. Penny, nickel, dime. That's all you gotta do. Penny, nickel, dime. Penny, penny, nickel, dime. Nickel, penny, nickel, dime. Penny, penny, nickel, quarter. And do uh, fast. Oh, yeah. penny, they should have just put her as Megan instead of voicing yeah. Megan. <laughs> That's a good point. The doll would have been more realistic if it was a human in real life. That's the thing about AI. <laughs> It'll never be as good as the real thing. Yeah, I'm saying they didn't even have to do AI. Yep. It's like... D- deep fakes. Yeah. Yeah. Can't. It's very cool. Yeah, it is. Um, I forgot what else we were supposed to do. Well, we can just look at things. Oh, yeah. I think we're supposed to look at high things. Um, <laughs> can we look at the high things? Was, or am I making that up? If you high Instagram. Keep, go ahead and then I'll, I'll jump in. Oh, here. I was just looking at the if you high Instagram. Oh, go ahead. I don't feel like images do it for me. I feel like it's mostly videos like Megan. They're videos. Oh, they're videos. Sorry. We we could play one. When I hear this read, or a really good tweet I have saved. Yeah, but look at this. Oh. What am I looking at? I don't know. I need my glasses. <laughs> oh, they're growing mushrooms. Oh, you would love that. I would love that, but it doesn't look like it smells very good. <laughs> That's very. What's that like little machine man in the back? That's the, I think like a tank that they grow them in. Oh, well, I can't yeah. wait for everyone to watch this bonus episode where we. It's like at the end of the day, like if you're watching a high episode, you know it's either gonna it's gonna go one of two ways at the end of the yeah. day. And it's gone the second way. Whoa, <laughs> skis. <laughs> Very cool. <laughs> Ooh, what's that? <laughs> Very cool. Do you want to go back through my idea book? <laughs> Can. can we have I guess they wanted you to think it was a lake, but it's a trampoline. I don't I think it can be whatever you Oh my god, <laughs> I have a good game. Okay. Oh god, the car and animate object game? No, the okay. cats and dogs game. Oh, that's a good game. Here's Connor. here's my thing I came up with this weekend. I was sitting at dinner, needed to pull out my phone. I was like, guys, I have to write something down. And they're like, Oh, he's always working. I go in my notes, all animals can be categorized into either cat or dog. Yes. Yes. And you agree? Yes. Jack yeah. Black, dog. I said animals. <laughs> so like not people. <laughs> oh 
So close. That's a person. <laughs> I think I was thinking of Kung Fu Panda. I think I was thinking of Panda. Just the the actual animal, not the character. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. I think a panda would be a dog. That's a good one. I'll ask you more. A worm. Cat. A bird. Cat. That's a. <laughs> I I don't think a bird goes into either. It cat because it's sharp. <laughs> Cats are sharp. Um. Okay, now I gotta keep thinking. Yeah. <laughs> your, glasses. your glasses are fucking completely up. I don't know how you're seeing out of those. I can never see at any given time whether I'm wearing my glasses or not. Get contacts. I know. You would think it's that easy, but it's not. <laughs> well, you have health insurance now. You can just go get them. <sighs> I don't think that's how it works. I think it is. <laughs> <laughs> Last night, the guy with the... we Brooke and I went to the Dodgers <laughs> game yesterday. And I was like, why don't we leave a little early so we don't have to worry about parking? And uh, so we left at 5 p.m. in Los Angeles, which just to get a head start on yeah. everybody, it took us two hours to go 13 miles. And then once we got there, we went into paid uh, for parking. And that was $50. And then it took us another 40 minutes for them to find a parking spot for us. And then when we parked, we had to walk a mile and a half into like from where we parked into the stadium. And then we couldn't find our seats. And then everyone was kind of running like when Marlon is trying to find Nemo at first and he's going the opposite way in traffic and then he gets hit, hit, hit and it, one of them knocks him out, I think. It kind of felt like we were going upstream and all everybody else was going downstream just fi- trying to find our seats. Yeah. And then um, <laughs> the Jumbotron, well, do we tell everything because it's close friends? No, you can. I'm I'm needing to take some deep breathing. I'm going through f- like w- like phases of like panic attack high like cracking up high and then nonverbal high yeah and it, it's sequential so we're nonverbal i mean we're panic attack now so if okay. you could keep talking do you want another one of the pumpkins to put on you for no i think weight? just reminding me that the pumpkin is there may have helped okay um <laughs> i forgot what happened oh i was like brooke get off your phone i think and then I literally, I like, I can't. Well, we I got, couldn't possibly we like, got a, at this time. We got a really almost annoying text. And oh then, yeah, and then that triggered a lot of the, a lot of emotions for everybody. So <laughs> when Brooke gets in a really like sad, about to cry mood, I always go over the top. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I'm like talking to the people sitting next to us. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. I'm not saying and with you. A word. Brooke's not saying a word. <laughs> and then finally, the jumbotron walks up, and I look over at Brooke. She's sobbing. And uh, then the Jumbotron. There we go. Oh, God. I can't look at that. Then the Jumbotron. But I was, so- yeah, I was crying. Pull, Why wouldn't you be sobbing? Pulls right up to us. Brooke has her hat pulled over her face by the time they pull up. Mm-hmm. I didn't want to be on the Jumbotron at the end of the day. I know, but God works in mysterious ways. It was just like in that moment, I can't explain. It was like life or death. It's like if I'm on that Jumbotron. Like Hunger, that's the Hunger Games. Like they're putting me in the Hunger Games. Are you yeah, dead? I've been both because I've chosen and then I'm su- I'm surrendering myself. Mm-hmm. Wait, you had a point in the main podcast that you said I want to come out on in the notes. Oh, yeah. We should have talked about that. Do you want to do it here? Well, I didn't know what I meant by that at first, and then I remembered there's been so much people on TikTok and people in my real life recently, just like slandering like all of the all, sitcoms basically and especially like on hinge you'll be like don't like don't date me if like you like friends or like don't date me if you like the office and i just want to come out as someone i like friends guess what i like the office yeah guess what i love new girl guess what parks and rec incredible show so I just wanted to say that, like, if you're one of those people who makes your personality hating on those people for just innocently loving a show, you are the problem. We are not the problem. You are the problem. And I had, like, a more intense rant about it, but it's not, like, I'm at, I'm at low capacity. Okay. <sighs> it's just, like, not some, like, I just, like, don't know why people do that. It's, like, why are you hating on someone for liking a show? How is that hurt, affecting you? In any way. Let people enjoy things. Yeah. It's like sad that I feel like I, that's what it's sad. I, I, 
you know what's sad is that I felt like I had to come out. Like it's not something I could just like casually mention. It's something I have to be like, oh, I love The Office. Hot, like not hot take, but like a take that people are going to be like, have something to say about. Yeah, people like to be different. Yeah. Guess what? I, think everybody- I like to be the same as everyone else. Blend in. Don't put me on the jumbotron. Don't. I don't want to t- Judd Apatow my screenplay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Why are you laughing? I don't know. That was so funny. <laughs> I don't want to be different. Blend in. <laughs> um, no. I think that like obviously Friends. Every show you just named is like some of the highest grossing TV that's. And existed. you don't have to like it. That's fine. Just yeah. don't make it your personality hating people that do like it. I like to I like to have it on in the background, all of those shows. I do wish you would like actually watch New Girl though. I know I'm trying to. I, I started on episode one. Season one, episode one. But Yesterday um, you asked me if Nick and Jeff ever kiss. <laughs> yeah, I had Nick two of Jeff. those beers at the uh, Who's Jeff? In that <laughs> you, scenario. You meant Jeff. Yes. I was like, what are you talking about? Um I dare you to dip one of those Lay's classic. I'm feeling actually chip. like so nauseous. <laughs> I don't know. Do you what think happened. that's the long COVID? No, I don't. Wait. So speaking of coming out, Madonna came out. Oh, did you see her video? She's already been out. She's dated women. Yeah. Like I don't. Maybe she has. I don't know. About it. I don't know. No. Well, I mean, she just said I'm gay, or if I miss, I'm gay, and then she. Missed. Right. No. I'm. Yeah. I'm saying maybe she never like outwardly said it before. I don't know. But congrats, I guess, Madonna. Loving that. Oh, she doesn't look like what I thought she would. (laughs) Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. (laughs) What do you think? Yes. (laughs) Same thing. Yes, of course. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) What's the Hank Green tweet? I don't want to have a phone call after this. Oh my god! I think you I do. do. I think I do. Can I edit tweets now? I can. <sighs> it's because I pay for Twitter Blue and I can only do it for thirty minutes. Also, you can see the whole edit history by clicking below. And yes, I change it back to tweets. I thought it was funny to leave a typo in my first editing tweet. Oh, is, this nice. ad, is this an ad? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wait. Do you know the different what John and Hank Green look like? Yeah. Do you know the differences? Like, one looks like shit and the other one is handsome. <laughs> no. Right? You think? Oh, I don't know. No. I'm guessing. No. I'm just saying, do you think they're the same person or do you think they're different? No, I know they're different. One's a writer. But, and like, if an... you saw Hank, Bill, would you be able Bill to be Nye. like, that's Hank or John? Yeah. Hank is the Bill Nye, right? Ish. What, do you know who's who? Hank is on the right. Yeah. And John is on the left. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, because one of them is able to contact Zac Efron to be in the lead in his movie. And the other one told me that no asteroids are going to hit the Earth while we're alive. Can you imagine if Zac Efron was in a John Green movie? Is he not? No, you're thinking of Ansel Elgort. Yeah. You know what's crazy? If Zac Efron ever gets canceled, I'm going to have to rebrand. So I kind of always think about that. I think I would just make my handle like Brooke Averick or something. <laughs> I, mean, I literally just thought that was like, yeah, that's a good, that's a, that's good. That's smart. <laughs> Change my name to like my name. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> What's up? What else? <laughs> Sorry, guys. Really took a chance on us, and we didn't come through. <laughs> Maybe we could watch a movie. <laughs> Do you guys want to watch Glee? Yes. Actually, I thought you'd never ask. No, I don't. Think oh, I... Connor doesn't. What do you want to watch, Connor? I want to keep talking. I but like talking. about what? Um, I don't know. Let me look at what my eyes must look like right now. They look the totally same. They always do. <laughs> totally, like the Are same as they bad? always do. Kind of like you're dying. Are... You're just tearing up a lot. Okay. I'm not sure if you're going to. Oh my God, your eyesight. Okay, so I was thinking about your eyesight this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Oh my gosh, you need to be drinking water while you eat goldfish yeah. every single time. <laughs> the w- Wash one down like a pill. <laughs> We're not going to be able to leave the studio for like an hour. <laughs> no, there's just like a <laughs> giant, like benign lump of goldfish in my gullet just now and i couldn't I, breathe i literally i thought you were taking <laughs> the goldfish fully unchewed as a in one bite oh i'm sweating no my bite so no bad. bite no bite um no i chewed it up I, that was the issue i think i think i would, <laughs> I I would add more luck if i just took it all um but i was thinking about your eyesight because my friend went skydiving for the first time ever listen to this goes skydiving for the first time ever and he took the eight a- he took the eight hour <laughs> course, and then they go all right, let's go up. And he's like, oh really? Like there's no period of waiting. And he was like, they were like no. And then they didn't even connect him to anyone. So like first day skydiving, he like goes up in the plane, and he wears seeing glasses because he's like legally blind. <laughs> and I can wait. Anyways, they take him up. Um, they get to the altitude where he's able to step out of the plane to fall. I don't know, like twenty thousand feet. And they had fitted him. They had equipped him with glasses that were his, like twenty twenty, but it was like really bad in a bad way. Um, he jumps out of the plane solo after eight hours of like driver's ed for the skies. <laughs> You got makeup all over your sleeve. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> okay. Um, and then he jumps out, and then on his way down, his, his like, glasses, he loses them somehow. And he's looking down, and he can't see anything. So he can't check his watch for, like, when he hits the altitude. So he's just going down, 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 but flying through the air. And someone, like, one of the other instructors sees him, and he can't find his stuff to, like, pull the thing. And then <laughs> the instructor flies over and pulls his thing for him. And so he sucks up, but he was way past like when he should have pulled it. And he can hear them yelling, like, you need to go over here, you're so far away, whatever. He can't see the ground. He's looking at the ground. And he finally sees a clearing with like three big uh, like ponds that he can land in. Getting closer, getting closer, getting closer. He gets so close and he looks and he goes, those are giant trees. Those aren't ponds at all. And so he veers off and he lands it's like a highway or something like not but like in the woods and he like lands and there's just a homeless guy in the woods and that's the first person he sees and he goes you aren't supposed to be here okay, that's it was two miles away from yeah. where we were supposed to land wow so brooke you need to get contacts yeah so that- at the end of the day though i'm not skydiving yeah. i'm just driving <laughs> <laughs> oh okay <sighs> what Nothing. I think that's awesome. So did you and Kelsey talk about anything like Uh, that was interesting that I would have liked to chime in on? We talked, we, we talked a lot about Twilight and close friends. (laughs) Cause we watched a really funny scene from Twilight that had not been released to the public. It was an extended version. So we reacted to that and that was really funny. And then I had to explain to her what imprinting is. But I don't think I could do that now. Do you know what it is? Yeah. It's like when a baby comes out and then like a duck or something like a duckling. And if they see you, they all imprint on you and then you're their mama. Basically. Yeah. So that happened in Twilight. <laughs> cool. Yeah. So that's what, kind of what I was telling Kelsey about. Cool. Is that what you were? That was your original question. Yeah. If you guys talked of anything. Oh, yeah. That Imprinting. I would have liked to chime in on. Taylor Swift, teaching. Talked about Connor's birthday with Kelsey. Oh, crap. Did she say anything bad? No. Because one of her friends was like, because I like backed out at the end of the night. Uh Uh-huh. And like. It was in the episode. That's fine. Well, uh, her friend that I was, that was also there was like, yeah, you tripped and like ate shit. And Kelsey was like, no, he's fine. Let's keep going. 
And like everyone else also was like, you should probably go home. Okay. So that's what I was laughing about. But um, crap, I was going to say something that was kind of important. And now I won't, I guess. But it was going to be like a talkable situation. I could check my notes app. Yeah, check your notes app. But I'm going back into my like nonverbal high. Oh, shoot. Okay. I don't have any stories to tell. Um, Could we maybe do like a short episode? Because I've now I'm feeling like really panic attack. Oh shoot! Or I could keep talking. Okay, but it's not going to be great. Do you want to talk about the war? <laughs> <laughs> sure. Okay. So the war. Is, what war? I don't know. Didn't you say that's what you wanted to talk about know, the nuclear think, codes? <laughs> I don't. I think that like maybe there's like a six wars going on right now. Like I think there's a lot of wars that we just have like, moved on from. The news cycle is so short these days. Like Adam Levine, literally no. I forgot he, his name again. He's back to like the back of my memory. And him and Bahati are just back together, married still. Yeah. That's it. You know, and, like there's wars going on. I don't know. I think I got too high. This might be like the end of Brooke and Connor make a yeah. podcast. <laughs> I shouldn't have had that second half. Okay, yeah. I Yeah. It's important to, like, just because we're this age, it's okay to still be learning things about yourself. You know, so you can't be shocked when your body says, hey, not so fast. I knew, I knew this was going to happen. Yeah. I've been telling everyone I'm going to get too high and I'm going to panic. Well, remember, and- the pumpkin is on your lap. <sighs> Always think about the pumpkin and take a deep breath. And I think it's important for everybody to... And now I'm feeling like, Heart attack. No, 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 no. <laughs> Do you want to wrap up? We can wrap mm-hmm. up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I am going to create an environment that is so scary. That was just the joke about the Jane Lynch meme. Okay, guys, Brooke is smelling a gas leak. So we're going to go check that out, out behind back. And we may or may not be back, depending on what it smells like out there. So thank you so much for listening to the bonus content. Um, I will we'll see you in, when we see you. And then also sign up for thank that you. in the description below for the Close Friends story on Instagram, we'll, where we'll be updating on the developing gas leak situation. Thanks for coming. Bye. <laughs>